I have spent all week trying to come up with witty comparisons for this game. Things like, it's a bit like Crackdown. It reminds me of Infamous. It's just another Jet Set Radio. But as its influences are many, the best compliment I can give it is it does it better than all of them. Hi everybody, I'm Scotty Jim, and welcome to the TIC Podcast Review of Sunset Overdrive. So hang on, because there's lots to get through. So let's begin with the story. Well, a new drink called Overcharged is being released. And it has a very nasty side effect. One that turns the local residents of Sunset City into orange blistered mutants, intent on making your life in the city somewhat uncomfortable. So your hero and some other survivors that you've picked up along the way try to escape the city by whatever means possible. It's a fun story, and one that keeps the action flowing nicely. Graphically, Sunset Overdrive is as colourful as the Hawaiian shirts your hero wears. Running at 900p and a rock solid 30 frames per second, Insomniac Games have done a sterling job of making the game look superb in all departments, from the character models, the enemies, and also the city itself. And it's a great city to play in, because gameplay wise, Sunset City is an absolute blast to play. Although it isn't the biggest map you'll ever play in, every area is very detailed and packed with enemies or secrets and general things to bounce or grind around the city on. They've purposely made running around the ground monotonous, so you will soon be up on the power lines or the rail tracks and grinding your way around the city. At the start of the game, you may feel a little daunted by all the buttons for the grinding, bouncing, pulling your weapons out and using your amps, but give it time and soon you will be grinding and bouncing your way all over this city with your amps at maximum, shooting explosive teddies at the hordes of mutants that are charging you. The only online mode is Chaos Squad. This is an 8 player co-op mode where you team up in the daytime to do various missions. Then at night you defend your base from wave after wave of mutant by laying traps and general frantic gunplay. It doesn't improve on the campaign but it is a great addition for online teamwork chaos. It tells you all you need to know that after 12 or so hours, I still play this game with a huge smile on my face. Thanks to the brilliant gameplay, the fantastic comedy writing, and the general high production values. So from me, Scotty Jim, I give Sunset Overdrive a must buy, and an early contender for my game of the year. But as always, here at the Inner Circle, my teammates also need to score the game. So, B-Money said, it's a buy. KOR Straight Murder, has a must buy. Unified, also has a must buy. And Doc, well Doc's got it as a buy. So, for Sunset Overdrive, the TIC podcast score is a must buy. Why not join us on Twitter at TIC underscore podcast and listen to our TIC podcast on YouTube for the fans, by the fans. Official podcast of xboxmad.net. See you all next time. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Hi, this is Scotty Jim from the TIC Podcast Reviews. Please join us next week 
especially if you're anything like me and a fan of the TV show, as we review Telltale Games The Walking Dead. So we'll see you then.